Mark Giordano first visited Hatteras Island in 1963. In 1967, his parents built a cottage in Hatteras Colony in Avon. In an interview with Susan West, Mark talks about his father buying the Avon Fishing Pier in 1970. Your dad um, had something to do with the Avon Pier. How? What happened there? Well, I mean, I guess that, you know, my dad had befriended Dewey Scarborough through the process of, of building the house there. And he had mentioned to Dewey that, yeah, I'd love to have a business down here someday. And sometime, I believe, in early 1970, we were down here at our cottage. And Dewey came over and said, hey, Joe, were you really serious about having a business down here? And my dad, not knowing what he was getting himself into, said, yeah, sure, that seems like a great idea. And Dewey said, well, the Avon Fishing Pier is for sale. So... Dewey introduced my dad to the, the owner group, and as, as I recall, and I'm not sure about the exact dates, but I believe the pier was originally built in 1964, so this would have been six years later, and I believe that that was the original ownership group that was selling it. Sold the pier to your dad. Did he have partners? Yeah, it turned out that um, he had most of the gentlemen that had been coming down as a group to go on vacation join in. So it was my father, Joe Jordana, and then Harris Habert, who is David Habert's father, who ended up being a resident of, of Avon um, a few years later. Mr. Homero Vega, who was actually um, a Mexican citizen uh, in the Mexican Navy, worked in the Mexican Embassy in Washington, D.C., but was our neighbor in Washington. And Mr. Vega also had a cottage at the opposite end of, of Beachcomber. And two of his grandsons now have a surf shop in Avon that they've had for years. There was Jack Cushing, who is the one that originally introduced us down here um, and ended up being a longtime resident on the Outer Banks. And then there was a gentleman named... Joe Ryan, who had brought his family from the very beginning back in 1963, and I believe Joe bought lots also in Beachcomber, but I don't believe he ever built a house. So those were the five partners, along with Dewey, who put together this prospective ownership group to purchase the pier. Do you have any idea how much they paid for the pier? Um... I don't know the exact numbers, but I always recall hearing that they bought the pier for about $100,000 in 1970. Okay, so now your dad and his partners own a pier. Who ran the pier? Well, Jack Cushing still worked for the Department of Agriculture in Washington, D.C. He actually had a pretty good federal job. He was a relatively young man, probably less than 40 years old and, and had probably a very bright future with the federal government and he somehow convinced his wife Ellie and quit the whole thing and volunteered to come down and live on the island and be the manager of the pier. So Jack came down and, and ended up you know, buying a house in Buxton and working on the pier in those early years.